everybody, Gutter here. It's six o'clock in the fucking morning, and I got the itch to fucking produce something. And I'm like, what the fuck could I produce? Could I, do I want to go and do a deep, deep dive into fucking coons? Fuck no, I don't want to do that. Do I want to do one of those best of, worst movies on things? Man, not really feeling that. So I figured, what's the easiest, quickest, fucking most bullshit thing I can fucking think of? A reaction video. So, yeah, we're here with another Gutters reaction ad nausea, blah, blah, fucking blah. Because, yeah, I noticed on 80s Commercial Vault, which is a very awesome channel, by the way. You should check it out if you haven't already. They released a tw almost 20-minute long 80s commercial fucking compilation yesterday at the time of filming this. So, guess what? We are going to watch it together. So, yeah, fuck it. Let's just get this shit fucking rolling. Well, I mean, she's... Almost on par with like the the quality of singing on Stairway to Stardom. Oh, McDonald's breakfast fucking sandwiches. Nothing makes you feel like shit all day long like a McDonald's breakfast sandwich. I mean, I like them. Like the sausage McMuffin with egg is fucking bomb. Let's take a fucking hash brown and slap that shit on top of that, right? But yeah, man, the rest of the fucking day I just feel like fucking shit after eating one of those. But anyway. Oh shit, I remember Tato's skins. Those things were the fucking shit. I kinda miss those. Fuck yeah, man. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Her glasses, pigtails, and fucking jean jacket were fucking awesome. Ooh, a new barbecue flavor. Cause who the fuck eats a barbecue baked potato? Actually, I have. I've taken pulled barbecue pulled pork and put it on top of that. Is John Stamos there? You know, drummer. Hey, maybe we'll see. Oh shit, it's the end of fucking Webster. Tomorrow, Ernie's new coach has him kicking mad on sidekicks. Then, bank robbers take Sledge hostage. And the police wonder who's in more danger on Sledgehammer. Hmm. Great name, Sledgehammer. I lightly remember it existing, but I can't think of anything about it. 25 years together. An arena for San Jose in four years. The story at 11. No, thanks. Oh, shit. Mr. Belvedere? Belvedere will not be seen tonight. Why? I don't give a fuck. Give me goddamn fucking Belvedere and God with Bob Euchre. Actually, I, I don't mind the Beach Boys. They have some songs I get I can get into. It's weird seeing McDonald's graphic just in straight up white. Damn. I brought nothing to drink. I mean, it's 6 in the morning, so it would have been coffee, but I'm an idiot. I brought nothing, so... Oh, God, Spuds McKenzie again. I think we might have watched this commercial together before. I'm not sure. If not, I know we did watch a Spuds McKenzie one together before. Go, Spuds, go. Oh, yay, more bre McDonald's breakfast sandwiches. I mean, I haven't eaten yet, so I have got a hungry, and this is making me want one, but no, I don't want to feel like shit all day. God, was that fucking Bruce Willis from Hudson Hawk in that group? Yeah, right there on the left. Hudson Hawk. Man, I love that shitty, shitty movie. Shitty fucking movie, but so awesome. I even liked it when it first came out. I saw it in the theater. How crazy is that? God damn, more fucking McDonald's breakfast commercials? We get the fucking point. So I don't get it. You know, those old ma fuckers that hang out at McDonald's, because, you know, all over the country, there are old ma fuckers that hang out at McDonald's. Why the fuck is that? Everywhere. Why? 
I hope you have an answer, because if you do, put it down below, because I'm fucking curious. We do more before 9 a.m. than most people do all day. Hmm. I remember this commercial. I was gonna say some horrible shit, but I am not. I know it's weird for me not to say horrible shit, but whatever. Qualify for the GI Bill and the Army College Fund, and you can earn over twenty-five thousand dollars for college. And then when you're a veteran, the government don't give a flying fuck about you. But anyway, moving on. Studio, studio, studio. God, does that like brand exist anymore? I know L'Oreal exists. I assume L'Oreal exists. I don't know because I got no fucking air. Studio. Studio. From L'Oreal. From Calgary, Canada, they'll challenge the 1988 Olympic course in the final men's World Cup downhill of the season. Come on, you best entertain me. Oh, here we go. USSR and amateur boxing. All on ABC's wide world of sports. God, remember when that was a fucking thing? Hey, Dude, what's Kit? Why is Kit overtaking a fucking beat up? Nice sunglasses on that lady. I think it was a lady. Guess he wants to see what this new Golf GT can do. This is the most boring episode of goddamn Night Rider ever. Man, they never stick around. Last year's top movie is coming to your VCR. Oh yay! The most homoerotic movie ever. Which I still can't believe they made a sequel to. Why? Why? God damn! Nobody else brings you beauty like Avon. Yeah, I'm sure. Come on, gets to something better. Like this, yes, like that dude on the beach with fucking stupid golf. So, fuck. It is 6 o'clock in the morning and I slept like shit, so yeah, uh, sand sculptures. Oh yay, a business brief. Paul Volcker predicted inflation may rise 4% this year. And wholesale prices edged up 0.1% in February, a rate that would meet Volcker's prediction for the year. The president of Visa sent a telegram to the banks that offer his credit card, suggesting ways to fight the new Optima installment credit card proposed by American Express. The Visa chief advised the banks... Blah, 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 blah fuck it, blah. blah. Moving on. Okay, what we got here? Cough medicine? Yes. Let's all trip out. Nah, that's not fun. I mean, it could be fun, but I never had fun tripping out on fucking cough medicine. Maybe I say things on here I shouldn't say. It is what it is. I still hate that fucking phrase. That's business brief. I'm Sandra Van Oker. Sandra Van Oker? Is that what he said his fucking name was? Or did he say Xander? Uh, oh god, awful. Awful, awful year for cars, man. Oh, car look at that, man. They're fucking the ugliest Mustangs fucking ever. This is, oh, dude, an awful year for cars. They all look like fucking shit. I don't remember. Oh, I don't know what year this is from, so never mind. Didn't it say something about 88 or. I don't fucking care. You're too busy, right? Pick up the phone and dial South Bay Health Center. They're open evenings and Saturdays. Right now. Ready to take your call. Oh, yeah, right now? What? You can't afford to see the dentist? No, I can't. At South Bay Health Center, a complete dental exam is only $12. <laughs> $12. Come on. Check the phone book for the location. There's and that's when they get you. They're like, all right, you're all fucked up. Now we recommend $13,000 worth of dental work for you. Oh, my God. This is almost as bad. Well, at least it's not the same exact come Nickelodeon geyser thing from one of these earlier episodes with Bird in it. Oh, wait a minute. It's those old men going to McDonald's, isn't it? I hear there's a new kid starting today. Oh, he's going to work. We're open in a few minutes, sir. Think it's a little late to start a new 
I almost thought that was Danielle Harris for a second. Old man, please stop touching my child. Let's say that three bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits, one egg McMuffin, two sausage muffin with egg, and one large OJ. Are you sure you never did this before? That is definitely not Dad Yo Harris. And why have we seen that fucking wait a minute? Was that the house that fucking Sean like Sean's dad lived, Henry lived in psych? Probably nobody gets that fucking reference or watch that show, but Psych's awesome, you should check it out. Bop, 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 bop. Michelob. I mean, this song definitely has me wanting to drink a Michelob. Oh, great. It's a full fucking music video. Awesome. Maggie Cup, man. Fuck. I was just saying, never mind. This absolutely never fucking mind. Does it? Does it? For the fourth straight year, Volkswagen is the best selling European car line in the US. The Volkswagen Golf is the best selling car in all of Europe. And the Volkswagen Jetta is the best selling car. Good for you. In the US. When you're hot, you're hot. Car created by Nazis, but anyway. To give you air conditioning at no Ooh, yeah, air conditioning. Forty dollars a select Golf Jetta and Jettas. See your Volkswagen dealer soon. Otherwise, you could be left out in the cold. Do you have a cold? I'm congested. I have a cough. My nose is running. But no, I don't have a cold. Will you take two Comtrex tablets? Sure. Um, that's not Comtrex, lady. That dude's gonna mass you. These can do what Comtrex multi-symptom cold reliever can, because all by itself it relieves every major cold symptom. Oh yeah, I'm sure if it did, it would still be around. I don't remember seeing Comtrex anywhere last time I fucking drug aisle. From Bristol Myers. The Beach Boys are pumping up for even more fun when their Waikiki Beach Party returns. Oh yeah, I'm so glad. We're not seeing that. Actually, a little bit of it be aight. Hmm. Hey, was that? Yeah, I knew that was Ted Danson, but that almost looked like PJ Souls for a second, was it? I don't know about that. I doubt it. That was somebody, though. Of course it was somebody. Everybody, somebody. Like, dude, you're sweating like a motherfucker. Dude, your bat's sweating. What the fuck? I mean, it would make it more interesting baseball-wise, because baseball's boring as shit, but if there was, like, a fucking layer of water covering the whole entire fucking baseball field, diamond, whatever the fuck it's called, you know, it's completely, make it more interesting to watch. Sunnyvale Ford, like, where Julian and Bubbles and shit lives? I wouldn't trust buying a car from any of them motherfuckers. But it is Ford fever time, so. Still all fucking ugly. That Bronco is pretty badass. So I like, see, I like 80s trucks. 80s trucks are fucking cool. I like the box and style of those, but like the actual cars themselves, but. Oh shit, the Winchester Mystery House. Them to bring out their wow, remember those fucking goddamn fiber optic filament lamps were the fucking shit back in the fucking day? <laughs> oh, wow, another fucking goddamn breakfast commercial. Yeah, right, you know back in these days, they didn't hand crack eggs at all, man. It was just a weird egg log thing. Like, split, there's an egg. Split, there's an egg. Split, there's an egg. That thing looks huge! They're like this fucking big! You know what's real tacky? 
when your makeup looks like someone baked a cake on your Well, face. speaking of like Hudson Hawk, so Andy McDowell. Invisible coverage from L'Oreal. It covers all oh, how it covers, but it's invisible. So when they ask, what's all this whoop de do about invisible I have nothing bad to say at all about Andy McDowell, so I'm just going to sit here and just watch Andy McDowell. Visual. Invisible coverage makeup from L'Oreal. So, yeah, not that fucking great of a compilation, but hey, that's what happens whenever you, you know, put as much time and preparation into these episodes as I do. None. None. Whatsoever. I just saw this, came up here, bleep, blop, bow, render, this is out. Ow. You don't have to fly anymore to get our honey roast nuts. Just drop the Really? Did you oh did you have to go fly to get honey roasted peanuts back in the day? That was the only way you could get honey roasted peanuts. I mean honey roasted peanuts are bomb, but to all the cars that try to perform like a Volkswagen GTI and try to handle like a Volkswagen GTI and try to be as much fun, we have some bad news. We just may follow the leader a little harder to play. Alright, moving on. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I mean, I would prefer if it was the first one, but still, fuck yes. Brought to you by the full line of 1987 German engineered Volkswagen. Of course, we have seen it a bunch of guests. McDonald's. Your Volkswagen dealer today. And Ford. Your neighborhood McDonald's restaurant. Yep. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. Is it? Is it? It's not. This is Ted Koppel. Later tonight on Nightline, while two towns grapple with the question of why six youngsters killed themselves, we'll visit a community that may have found a way of avoiding teen suicide. Oh yeah, how, 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 how? I would like to know how. ...magic and experiences the adventures of a lifetime in the great young Harry Houdini, the Disney movie. I think I remember that fucking movie. ...for the 59th Annual Academy Awards, live Monday, March 30th. Now stay tuned for Starman. Oh fuck, Starman. They used to run the fuck out of that movie on TV back in the fucking day. So, like, you know, thanks, compilation, for playing a lot of Beach Boys music here at the end. That's that's nice of you. No. 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 I won't. I mean, I would actually have to be able to take a vacation to and afford to be able to go somewhere, but hey, that's not for here and not for now. So yeah, I guess that was fucking that. Yeah, I'm, it is what it fucking is. So yeah, I had the itch. The itch is now scratched, and now you either sat here and watched it with me, or it was like, well, and or the camera just decided to fucking give up too. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys fucking later.